In Beaverton, the school district is battling decreasing enrollment and lower than expected state funding for next year's budget. And we're hearing about this a lot. In this case, the district is proposing cutting nearly 100 positions for the next school year. Brandon Thompson digging deeper into how these cuts will also affect the classroom. Brandon? Yeah, so the district is proposing twice as many cuts here at the central office than the cuts it's considering at classrooms across Beaverton. Still, this could be the beginning of tightening the purse strings as enrollment is declining at schools across Oregon. The growing problem in Beaverton, a shrinking enrollment. We don't know how to how to fix that. We just want to make sure that all of our students are getting the education that they deserve. Declining birth rates are a problem across all of Oregon. In Beaverton, that began to show in the first school year of the pandemic. Enrollment peaked at over 41,000. Now it's expected to be just over 39,000 next year. And 2,000 fewer students are expected in two years. For districts, fewer students means less money. Enrollment declines are are always um, a little worrying. We're not changing our class size ratios for next year, but we are making reductions to be in line with the number of students we anticipate coming in. 90 full-time positions are proposed to be cut in the next year. 13 are in the classroom, half of the 28 cut in district offices. It comes as the state legislature is proposing $400 million less than what districts across Oregon have called for. Schofield hopes lawmakers meet schools in the middle. If the actual budget comes in uh, the $200 million less that the legislature is proposing, what would that mean for staffing cuts? So for us, we'll, we'll roll forward with our budget. We have um, adequate reserves at this point. This this is what it looks like for Beaverton schools. The blue line of expenditures is expected to surpass the red line of revenues this year, a gap that widens as the years go on. If you can only use your savings for so long to pay your ongoing bills. Uh, at some point, we've got a we've got a um, right size uh, according to the revenue we're receiving. Any reduction in in positions that are serving our kiddos is just it's too many, no matter what. Uh, and and I'm hopeful that we can impress upon the state uh, to make sure that our funding is maintained. So the public comment begins tonight for the budgeting process. There's a meeting here at the central office at 630. You could also attend that virtually. We have a link on coin.com for that. The next meeting for public comment is on May 17th. Reporting live in Beaverton, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.